of the beverage from Kenya. All right, moving forward now. Kenya, uh, Kenyans rather, will not shoulder the shareholder debt burden in the Telcom Kenya buyback. This is according to former Treasury PS Julius Muya in his appearance before a joint parliamentary committee on the buyback of Telcom just days before the 2022 general election. Now, the PS maintained that the deal was legal and in the interest of national security. Now, Kip Kemboy reports. Members of the Joint Committee quizzed the immediate former Principal Secretary at Treasury, Dr. Julius Muia, raising questions over the legality of the government buyback. Today, give to you as their boss whether this was a worthwhile investment for the shareholder called the Government of Kenya. When telecom shares were bought by Elios, we have not seen any disclosure of the violation report. As we speak, 60% of the shareholding of, of telecom still belongs to Elios. As we speak, the government of Kenya's change of shareholding still exists in there. So I don't know why you think that uh, the executive order from the office of the president should have been looked at without looking at the necessary regulations and laws. But the former government officer maintained that the transaction was within legal bounds, noting that the buyback directive came from the National Security Council. That direction in terms of what then would happen only came through in April from the National Security Committee uh, meeting, uh, which we received a letter from the executive office of the president. Full compliance with withdrawal of funds under Article 223 of the Constitution of Kenya was followed. With regard to claims that taxpayers will shoulder the burden of billions of shillings in debt, Dr. Muir indicated that the buyback agreement sold the cancellation of debt owed to Helios worth $239 million. The proposal by Helios and Jamhuri was that government buys off they are 60% shareholding by paying $1. And government reimburses Helios and Jamhuri the $51 million. And in that transaction, Helios Jamhuri would forego the $239 million loan which they had taken over from Orange. So through that foregoing, then if you look at the balance sheet of Telecom, when they prepare for 31st of December 2022, because their year end is 31st of December 2022, we should see a reduction in their liability shareholder loans, at least equivalent to $239 million, uh, which is about, I think, uh, almost 31 billion Kenya shillings. With the transaction being effected under Article 233, the committee questioned the former PS over the failure to explore other options, raising suspicion over how close the transaction was before the general election. On the issue as to why they did not budget this investment. Article 223 is applied when there is need for payment immediately. And it is where that payment has not been budgeted for. It is an imminent payment that has to be made. And, and therefore, it is not something that waits for a month or two. So we could not say we are going to anticipate that we are going to make this payment before we got all those approvals in place. Earlier on, former head of public service, Joseph Kinyo, postponed his appearance before the Joint Committee on the Telcom Buyback Inquiry. Nokip Kimboi, KTN News.